Hey everyone, and welcome to this deep dive. Uh, mm -hmm. Today we're gonna be looking at this really cool conversation between a freelance coder specializing in GIMP automation. Oh, cool. And a Korean manga translator. Interesting combo. Right, it's not just about the coding aspect, yeah. but it's it's where technology, art, and even like global culture kind of all meet. Yeah, that's a really fascinating intersection for sure. Um, we've got excerpts from their actual chat logs. Oh, wow. And and it's amazing to see how custom tools can really speed up creative work in, in ways you wouldn't expect. For sure. Yeah. So let's introduce our, uh, our two main players here. We've got Tin Tran the Coder, who's got a real passion for GIMP automation. And what I find interesting is how they make these complex processes seem really simple. Yeah. And on the other side, we have Shinan Sard. Okay. Later on, they'll be referred to as Renan Sard. Gotcha. And they're a Korean manga translator who's super eager to make their workflow more efficient. Makes sense. You know, all those speech bubbles in manga, that's a ton of text placement. Oh, yeah, for sure. And this all takes place on Fiverr, which is like the, the heart of the gig economy. So we really get to see how technology brings together people with really specific needs and those who can actually meet those needs. I like it. Okay, so let's jump into the first challenge that Shinan Sard brings to Pin Tran. Okay. They're looking to automate the text placement inside those Korean manga speech bubbles. I see. And what I found really interesting was their back and forth communication. Mm -hmm. Tin Tran asks all the right questions to fully understand what Sinansard needs before even suggesting solutions. You know, that's so important. Having clear communication is absolutely crucial for collaboration, especially when people are working remotely like this. Absolutely. Tin Tran's approach shows a real dedication to understanding the problem before trying to fix it. Exactly. And this is where it gets even more interesting. GIMP has a lot of great features, but it's got some limitations when it comes to dynamic options. So Tin Tran starts thinking outside the box and suggest some really clever workarounds. Interesting. There's this one part where they create a naming system that uses bad boy, which I thought was brilliant. It's not just about making it work. It's about making it fun and building a connection. Oh, for sure. I totally agree. Those small details can actually have a huge impact on trust, especially yeah. when you consider that they've never even met in person. Yeah. That humor, that personal touch, it probably helps create a much more positive experience. I wonder if that personal touch helps them communicate more openly as well. Yeah. It's definitely easier to ask questions and bring up issues when you feel comfortable with someone, even in a professional setting. What do you think? Yeah, you're right. I think that sense of ease can be really valuable, especially when you're working on something technical like this. It creates a more open dialogue, which ultimately leads to better solutions. For sure. Yeah. So how does Tintran actually turn this idea into a solution that works? Well, they use text layers, text files, and custom code to make this automation happen. That's pretty impressive. It shows how they can use existing tools in new and creative ways. Yeah. Combining all of those elements, they created a system that really streamlines a complicated process, saving Sinan Sard a lot of time and effort. And the best part is, Tintran doesn't stop there. They even offer to make changes until Sinan Sard is completely happy. Wow. They really go above and beyond to make sure the client is satisfied. That's a great approach for anyone who's freelancing. Building that trust, making sure the client is happy, is key to building those lasting relationships. Totally. Now, imagine being seen and sard in this moment. They're excited about saving all this time, and they're already thinking about maybe finishing three chapters way faster than before. Yeah. That's a game changer for anyone doing creative work. It really is. It frees up time and energy so they can focus on the more fulfilling parts of their job. You know, it makes you wonder how much more you could do if you could automate some of those tedious tasks in your own life. That's a great point. This conversation really shows how automation can help people focus on what they're best at. So Sina and clearly impressed, but this is only the beginning of their journey with automation. As they keep working together, Sheen and Sard comes back with requests for even more tools, showing how much they've come to rely on Tintran's expertise. Yeah, that's cool. It's pretty amazing how a good partnership can boost creativity and productivity. When both people are on the same page and working towards the same goal, that synergy is really powerful. It makes you wonder if that trust builds up over time or if it's more about clicking right away. They seem to have hit it off from the start. What do you think? Hmm, that's a good question. I think it's probably a bit of both, you know. There's probably that initial connection they make early on, and then as they work through problems and celebrate successes together, that trust just grows stronger. That makes sense. Yeah. So let's talk about one of the coolest things Tintran makes a font selection plugin. This lets Finansard quickly pick their favorite fonts without having to scroll through a huge list every time. 
I bet that saves so much time in the long run. Oh, absolutely. It's a perfect example of how a custom solution can really streamline a workflow in a way that those generic tools just can't. You know, mm -hmm. Tintrend's not just addressing a general need, they're tailoring their solution to see and answer its specific preferences, and that level of personalization is so valuable. Right? It's like when you find that perfect app or tool that solves a really specific problem you've been struggling with. It's such a relief. Exactly. And you know, Tintran's also pretty business savvy. They offer discounted rates for repeat clients. That's a smart move, right? Yeah. It keeps clients coming back and ensures a steady flow of work. For sure. It highlights how beneficial the gig economy can be for both sides. Shinansard gets reliable, high-quality service at a good price, and Tintran gets the security of ongoing projects. It's yeah. a win-win. I totally agree. And this brings us to a part of their conversation that I found really interesting. Shinansard talks about laying down the process for future automation requests, which suggests they're thinking long-term. It's like they're building a solid foundation together. Each successful automation project becomes a stepping stone for future ones, making the whole process smoother and more efficient as they go. It really shows the power of clear communication and shared goals. They've created a framework that allows them to tackle even more complex challenges as they move forward. Exactly. And we even see Tintran's entrepreneurial side when they decide to create a YouTube video showcasing their work. It's a great way to use visuals, right? Potential clients can actually see how useful their services are. It's a really smart strategy, especially online. A video can communicate so much more than just words. It lets people understand what Tintran's services can do in a way that's engaging and informative. Have you ever thought about making a video to show off your skills or a project you're proud of? That's a good idea. I haven't tried that yet, but I can see why it would be effective. It seems like we've stumbled upon a masterclass in successful freelancing just by looking at this conversation. I agree. It covers so many important aspects from clear communication and creative problem solving to client satisfaction and strategic marketing. There are valuable lessons here for anyone who wants to work freelance or just get better at collaborating. And their story also highlights how powerful automation can be. Would you say? Definitely. It's not just about saving time, it's about opening up new possibilities. By automating those repetitive tasks, Genensard can focus more on the creative parts of their work. What stands out to you as the most important takeaway from their experience? I think it's a reminder that technology is at its best when it helps people do what they do best. Kintran's technical skills are impressive for sure, but it's their human-centered approach and willingness to collaborate that really stands out to me. It reminds us that even though technology is powerful, it's the human element that makes the real difference. Couldn't have said it better myself. It reinforces the idea that behind every successful use of technology, there's a human story, a story of collaboration, problem solving, and working towards a shared goal. And what's really inspiring is that this whole journey started with a simple conversation between two people with different backgrounds and skills. That's a really powerful point. They connected online, recognized each other's expertise, and built a partnership that benefits both of them. It shows how interconnected the world is and how powerful collaboration can be in the digital age. It really emphasizes the idea that we can achieve amazing things when we embrace diversity, communicate effectively, and work together towards a common goal. And with that, I think we've covered all the important parts of this interesting conversation. As we wrap up this deep dive, what really sticks with me is how this simple interaction between a coder and a translator really opens up this bigger discussion about the future of work. You know, we see the gig economy in action, the potential of automation, and how important human connection still is in our digital world. Yeah, you're absolutely right. It's like a mini version of the bigger changes happening in how we work, connect, and create. Right. And Tin Tran's ability to spot a need and create a solution for it, that's a skill that's only going to get more important as time goes on. Totally. Their story shows us that there are all these niche skills out there, and people are happy to pay for someone who can solve their specific problems. Uh it's inspiring to see how Tintran turned their love for GIMP automation into a successful freelance business. It really shows that entrepreneurial spirit that thrives online. And it makes you wonder what unique skills or passions you have that could be turned into something valuable. That's a really interesting question to think about. It makes us look at the possibilities around us in a new way. Maybe we all have a Tintran inside us just waiting to come out. But even if freelancing isn't for everyone, there's a big takeaway here for all of us. We've seen how automation can make us more creative, streamline our work, and free up time and energy for things that matter more. Exactly. It's about being efficient. And the great thing about automation is that it's not just for tech stuff. It can apply to so many parts of our lives, from organizing our inboxes to managing our money. 
The key is to think outside the box and see which repetitive tasks we can automate so we can focus on what's really important. I love that idea. It's about getting our time and energy back for the things that bring us joy and fuel our passions. So as we end this deep dive, we want to leave you with one last thought to take with you. What repetitive tasks in your own life could you automate? It could be something small like scheduling appointments or something bigger like streamlining a whole project workflow. There are so many possibilities. The key is to start exploring to see how powerful automation can be. And remember that technology is best when it helps us reach our full potential. Well said. And with that, we'll wrap up this deep dive. We hope you enjoyed it, and we encourage you to keep exploring this fascinating world where technology, creativity, and human connection all come together. Until next time, keep diving.